Panelists Podcast. This is Pierre. And Dimitri, Panelists Podcast. This is the dream team right here. I hope you're ready, guys. This is an exciting, exciting week. James Gunn finally unleashed. What is it, a 10-year plan? I hope it's less than that. I hope they just run through it and then just taper off and then start and, all the way over. Oh, you want them to just disappear? They need to just new 52 this thing. You have the playbook. You have it all laid out. It's been done. Just do that. But what are you thinking of Booster Gold? Booster Gold, I think, is an interesting character. And I think it hasn't been done yet. If you look at all like the superhero movies, the background where he comes from, where he's just some loser guy that gets a hold of some tech. Based off of James Gunn and what he does, I can see why he would choose to go with that. I'm sure they're looking at what they can do to compete against Marvel. They want to be different. They can't just give you the same layout. Not a Booster Gold fan, I'd say. Me neither. I don't really know his origin. You just told me. So that works. There you go. <laughs> I know he was in, what's the show? Of Tomorrow. League of Tomorrow? League of no. Tomorrow. Is it, League of, is it Tomorrow? League of Tomorrow? The CW show. They had him for a quick minute, I believe. This is where we insert a gross. You know, like, oh. Shut yeah. it down. Yuck. Let it go. Gross. I know Kyle's a big fan of that. Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. This list that we're going off of, Swamp Thing is on the end. It seems like it's the cap to his 10-year plan. And there's going to be a ton of other things that are being made, too. Like, this is just, like, the projects that he's telling us right now, but... But he didn't say that that's it. Like, that's his complete list. Like, he has a... Right. But Swamp Thing. Yeah. So I know Kyle's going to be excited about that, right? You would think. But I know how difficult he is, you know. He makes that face and he's like, mm, I don't like it. It's sure. cool. It's a cool idea, but I don't... He does make that like poopy butthole face. He does. He does that. all the time. Yeah. I tell him to stop yeah. doing it. Fix your face. Tries to give it low stars, low ratings. All know. the time. Now, it's supposed to be like a horror movie, right? I'm assuming they're going to go along kind of the darker side of DC. I just hope they've learned their lesson. I think that's a quick turnaround to fuck up a show. Have great, you know, previews of the show, then fuck up the show. Then now make a new movie. I think that's too soon. The Authority is on there. Not too familiar with that one. <laughs> Not at all. He explains it in his video. He seems to be excited about it and I can see James Gunn turning around and taking a team that we're not very aware of and make it something that we enjoy it and I think it allows him to do that and have that freedom versus trying to create the Justice League again which I think obviously we're gonna go to at some point Green Lantern so that TV show has been green lighted it looks like the main focus is gonna be Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart but I'm excited I really hope they put Jon Stewart in the line I keep making light like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose. Green Lantern. For the record. You know. <laughs> I said we greenlighted the movie and we're putting him in the limelight. But I really hope Jon Stewart is in the forefront. Just a story of Jon Stewart getting the ring and Hal Jordan being just like a wise mentor. I'm sure if it goes the way Kyle probably wants it to, he probably wants them to kill Hal Jordan. Did you watch the animated movie? I think we watched it together and it was bad. It was the most recent where literally that Jon Stewart in the forefront, he gets the ring. Hal we Jordan out in the wild, he ends up turning turning on them like he's like i actually am evil and he has like all the rings and then spoiler alert he is killed by the green arrow i killed my friend or something like that. that's fitting moving on amanda waller <laughs> is getting her own movie i can so, see that working i don't want to just say this but i think he's really giving his wife more roles in general black adam they end up putting black adam in their solitary confinement underwater and she's the arresting officer so to speak oh she's gonna be putting a lot of shit that's what i'm saying I think it's like a thing. She is going to be this role that just keeps popping up. I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes bigger than just the number two of Amanda Waller. And his brother is in Guardians. Once that's done, he's going to be popping in all the shit as well. I feel like you're excited about this next one. Superman Legacy? No. Not at all? No, I'm, not. I'm a little worried they're going to fuck up all the main shit. We don't know who the actor is. It's not going to be an origin story. We don't know who the villain is. I think at this point, they should just pull the trigger on Brainiac. The worst thing they could do, in my opinion, if we get Get another Lex Luthor and it's terrible because we went from Smallville to Jesse Eisenberg in Batman vs Superman. I'll never let that down. And that was the worst Lex Luthor ever. How did they like I don't even understand how they cast that. But he's gonna fix it all. So maybe I'm jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun. Jumping James the gun. done that in. Come this on. episode Come on. is full of puns. Come on. I do like the idea of Brainiac being the villain on this one. I don't think it's been done. Yeah, it definitely hasn't been done yet. 
they were gonna do it back when Nicolas Cage was supposed to be Superman. I think there's a documentary on it. I think Kevin Smith had a lot to do with it. Creature Commandos, also another one that we're not really sure of. On and... TikTok, all I've been hearing is that it's gonna be a Watchmen ripoff. Okay. Which I'm not mad at it. Right? Uh, Watchmen is not doing anything. Well, right? Why not? This one I'm actually excited about. Brave and the Bold. Okay. And I feel like you and Kyle should be really excited about this one too. So it's gonna be Batman and Robin, but Damien. Yeah. Fine. Finally. I assume this is going to be an Elseworld thing, right? There's going to be another Batman. No. No? No. This is going to be the main... Elseworld's the other Batman. He said it in oh. the video. The Batman is Elseworld. Okay. So we're getting a new Batman. In your regular universe, you're going to get Batman and Damien. That's going to be your new... Interesting. Which I believe that sets up Nightwing to exist in Titans, even though they're canceling okay. the show. But I think it keeps Dick as Nightwing. Okay. And I personally think that this is setting up Court of Owls. I wouldn't even be mad. I think it was Grant Morrison, but the whole Batman being sucked out and going through time periods. And uh, then Nightwing comes in and has to be Batman. Which we did talk about, actually, last episode. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. But if we do get Court of Owls, don't fuck it up. They're already yeah. putting Talon in, what's it, Gotham? No. No, no. They're doing it. No, they we're not talking already. about Dimitri stuff. We don't talk about that. Okay, but they're putting no. talent in. Kyle's it. not here. We're not talking they about the CW they shows. They shouldn't be putting him in it. <laughs> Leave Talon out. Leave him out. didn't even mention that show. He didn't even mention it as Elseworlds. I don't think CW shows exist in this world. It should anymore. be cut. Yeah. It should be cut off. No, I think Put it in the basement with, with Batgirl. He's doing the right thing. Look at the seeds. I mean, you got Green Lantern. He's going to get his ring. It establishes him as your head Green Lantern. You got yeah. Paradise Lost. It establishes what Wonder Woman is before she's discovered. Superman. I don't know. Brave and the Bold, I'm excited for because it's showing Batman with Damien, the Bat family, I'm assuming. And it just puts them in the universe. So last but not least, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. I think the book is actually called Woman of Tomorrow that they're pulling from. From what I'm reading is that she is going through different things. And they're really highlighting the difference of her growing up compared to Superman and how it changes her and kind of adapts her as a superhero. She watches everyone in Krypton die. She's still there and she gets blasted off into some other planet and then like watches other people die. It's just not as pretty of a upbringing as Superman. She doesn't land on a farm and get brought up by a bunch of farmers. I'm actually very hopeful for that one. I think that one's going to be cool because I think it'll be a darker side to the Superman story. Probably going to keep Superman very bright and pretty. They'll bring the trunks back. Yeah. There'll be a lot of sun. It won't be all gloom and gray. Yeah. They're going to highlight the difference between the two. Did Feige ever make a video explaining like Gunn did? I yeah. argue he hasn't had to. He's done it at Comic-Cons and planned it out normally like you're supposed to. I'm sure it came with the slideshow and yeah. the stars came out. This was just like, here you go. This is what we got in case you didn't know. To me, it felt like an apology video. Like when a celebrity does bad, he was just like, hey, I know DC was sucky in the past. I'm going to do right by you guys. Forget about what Flash did. Forget about all that. You did, know, he and kidnapped her, didn't he? We're just going to There's a lot of kidnappings. That. and We're just, moving on. Okay. And we don't want to know. Brighter, brighter DC now, guys. So The Flash movie, best movie by DC. I do want to say it is cool where all the voice actors who are going to do like animated shows and stuff like that are going to be actors in the movies. I did catch that, and I think that was a good way of organizing it. And I think that's what yeah. DC really does need at this point, just organization, which is actually cool. I'm glad that you brought that up. Kenny Porter, his book was a intro to this Flash movie. Again, something that James Gunn was saying was not just the movies, TV, cartoons being aligned, but he also said he wanted the comics aligned to be kind of following the same flow. So I think Kenny Porter's book might might actually be the beginning of books following the movie, you know, into this new universe. I definitely would see Marvel going forward and doing something similar in the future. Yeah, I look forward to DC's plans. And I think everyone does, because if you checked on eBay, the prices of a lot of the books that were mentioned skyrocketed. I'm so sure they did. I think everyone's very hopeful on all that. But yeah, moving on, Batista claimed that Gunn is not talked about anything DC to him. He also said he doesn't feel like he can do justice to being Bane at this point. Which I'm fine with. Right. I agree. Honestly. I didn't think he was Bane to begin with. I don't need another Bane. I'll take a Bane. I don't need a Batista being Bane. I just want him to be more comic book accurate. I don't want it to just be a big dude. Slightly bigger dude than Batman. Like, I want yeah. to be hulking over Batman. Just even Batista as an actor, I think they should take their time with 
whatever they do with him. I would love to see him as Mr. Freeze, but maybe oh, he doesn't want to do that. He actually mentioned Lex Luthor. I can't see that. But other people were casting him as Hugo Strange, which if you look at pictures okay. of him with a beard, not against it. Beard and glasses, it's all he needs. And the lab coat. Yeah, it would be a darker role for him. And he has done some serious roles. What he needs at this point, something a little bit more menacing and not necessarily being that overpowering a strong guy you know is there any other superhero slash villain you could see him playing that's not a part of batman because i know that that's you true. know batman that's is true. their flagship but i don't know you see him playing anyone else superman what villain did you say brainiac I can get behind it. I don't know. It's a tough one. I'll be honest. It's a tough one because at this point, all I see him is as Drac. Right. And he wants to be far away from that. So yeah, he can definitely do other roles, but he's always cast as like that. But he also does it to himself. Like the Gears of War, he wants to be that guy. He just know. wants to, you know, switch back and forth. But he wants yeah. to show his versatility. I get it. It's fair. Yeah. Speaking of Superman, Henry Cavill is not fired, just not hired, says James Gunn. I don't think James Gunn specifically said that quote. <laughs> yeah, he was not fired fired but he was let go from another tv show recently and replaced with someone else so that might have been his fault he just didn't want to go with a different direction that doesn't have to do with the video game which i guess is fair i hope he has other work planned i think he's gonna get scooped up by marvel i think he's gonna be hyperion that'd be cool that'd be sick yeah yeah i think that's what's gonna end up happening to him but i did say in a previous episode it'd be funny if they cast him as bizarro so but i don't think he would ever agree to that that would be no he probably wouldn't that'd be like a slap in the face like, hey, can you play <laughs> the dumb um, super- backwards version of the thing you did before? So leaks for Ant-Man. We love talking about leaks. Kind of wish it wasn't spoiled. I was really trying to stay away from them, but it's so hard not to. No, nah, um, give it to me. It's your bread and but butter. Give it to me. Big spoiler warning. You've been warned. So this is about the two post credit scenes after Ant-Man. So first post credit scene, Council of Kangs gather discussing how the Kang they exiled has been killed. Looks like Kang is dead. The council is led by Mortis and includes Ramatut and possibly a version of Scarlet Centurion. However, they are not red. They are not happy that their exiled variant was killed by others and vow to stop them, our heroes who have started to meddle in this multiverse. They call up to other Kangs to support them in preparation for a dastardly plan. The scene ends in the Coliseum full of Kang variants, including a scroll version. Ooh, I like that. So, seems like that's happening. Ramatut, I think you're going to see that in Moon Knight. And there's a second post credit scene. We see a stage and then Victor Timely, another Kang variant, making a presentation to an audience. He has his classic mustache and set looks like he's talking to a crowd in the crowd Mm. loki looking terrified and mobius looking confused so it's a kang variant where he poses as the mayor of a town he doesn't really age and he replaces himself a couple times with grandson or the son you know so there's victor timely the second victor timely the the third okay and during this he takes over the human torch so the human torch being the original he's an android so during his time as the mayor he gets the human torch to go do things one of the things being he fights a fantastic four so my idea well because they've already introduced the original human torch if you remember back in iron man one or two they show the human torches like costume whatever in like a glass case okay so i'm thinking he gets a human torch to go fight the fantastic four but what would be really really cool about it is if the original human torch was modeled after captain america which is chris evans which chris evans would then play the original human torch fighting the new human torch it would be a very good way of introducing the fantastic four and it was a fight in the comics that happened the original human torch was made kind of in the same time frame as captain america you normally model everything around the hero of the century yeah they could even make mentions like oh my god you look just like captain america <laughs> next thing up on the list is last of us episode three so i just watched episode two and episode three back to back what episode are you on i finished episode three so i didn't play the video game i've watched the whole video game me too so jenny shout out my fiance played the video game so i don't really remember bill's story but she did and she wasn't happy with what they did to bill mostly because he's a lot more important in the video game they use him as their ammo guy like he goes on hunts with joel 
Joel, like you spend time with Bill. So yeah. the fact that they didn't, the episode itself honestly felt like a waste of time. Like it, really? I didn't get anything out of it. All that story on a character and then just he's dead by the end of the episode. I think the fact that he dies at the end, it's the biggest like, fuck you. It's not a fuck you, but it's like uh, this was more important than what we thought we were going to get. We thought we were going to get the classic, you know, from the video game. I just saw it as like edge of my seat because I'm like, this is all new. This is all new ground. They've completely shifted gears on what they're doing with Bill. Not what he was, but like what he was to the main story. We don't get Bill and Tess. We don't get that like them sitting around the table just, you know, showing out. We don't get that in the game. So I just thought that was all very interesting. I love yeah. when he waited for all the people to leave and then he came out and you see him build all the stuff and everything. The introduction of the character. I was like, this is spot on. And then they started tweaking things and we're like, all right, well, he never finds anyone. I just felt like if you're going to give me all that backstory, I want the character around for a little longer. Like I wanted it to end with he puts his husband to bed and then meets with Joel and Ellie and then it, it continues. It at least gives you like more depth to him as a character because you don't get that in the video game. So it's like, all right, cool. This is why his mind is the way he is, what he does. Like it makes more sense. But to just kill him off. I was like, all right, let's get to episode four. Let's see what Joel and Ellie are going to do. It's totally fair. I think that they could have stayed true to the game in that regard. I just thought it was something beautiful that in the video game, Bill and Joel have a talk. And in the midst of their talk, Joel's like, who's that? They just took this little thing mm -hmm. and expanded it so much. And in the midst of that, changed the story a little bit. To be fair, I think we get to the same point by the end of Bill's journey in the video game and in the show. It still ends with Joel and Ellie going off and doing their thing. He didn't yeah. have to be alive because we weren't going to get like a spinoff of Bill. I can understand that. I don't know if you watched part two already of the video game. No. You're missing out. So much more complex than the first game. And that's like in my mind, very fresh. I can't wait till they get to that point. I yeah. just wish we got more zombies out of that episode. That's all. I think we're going to get a lot more of it in the fourth episode. And they get gross. Right? Like just that. juicy and oh, yeah. the juicy, like ones. juicy, oh. juicy fungus shit. So okay. we're going to fly through this last chapter here. Shazam! New trailer. It's out. Did you watch it? I have no plans to watch it. Now we're just talking about bad things, but Titans and Doom Patrol were canceled. Titans I'm kind of like surprised about. I never watched Doom Patrol. I don't know if you watched it. None of them. No. James Gunn seemed to say that it wasn't his idea so it was just done before he was involved moving on terrence howard blames rob downey for taking his money by demanding more money for his own role i feel like that's old it is old news but if he is saying it again just get over it bro like, yeah just move on deleted wakanda forever scene i didn't see it i didn't either Stephen amell <laughs> returns as green arrow for the flash's <laughs> final season thumbs up adam driver reed richards so wide big shoulders he got a wide body he makes me feel weird jason momoa is the thing was that my idea yeah i don't need it kingpin mayor of new york in born again that's cool i don't know how he became mayor of new york that quickly well, i wonder if we're getting some backstory before that my assumption was kingpin is going to be like the big bad for spider-man and daredevil joker 2 is a musical that sucks it's a musical that's elseworld it is elseworld lex luther is coming to superman and lois why do you keep giving us cw news kyle invincible season two coming into the year that's cool and then ghost was removed from thunderbolts not sure why and not sure if I had to go this far down the list, but Panelist Podcast. Panelist Podcast. New paneloids. We're cursing up a storm. We're saying fuck every other sentence. We're just gonna throw it in there like a little fuck sandwich. Fuck on top, fuck on the bottom. You're getting fucks all over the place, guys. Dream team, baby. I'm being told by Kyle to make him move closer to the mic. I forgot to tell him, go closer to the mic. He was way low last episode. I'm pretty close to the mic, I'd say. I think you are too. Right. I think that's something that he has to deal with. So that's not your problem. I just want to let you know. This is what he sent me. I just want to give you the heads up. So now with that rude interruption from our resident ginger i'm gonna move on to the human torch, human torch. see that segue segue yeah. i like it because he's red hot our, he's our red hot member firecracker and so is human torch wait a second he just texted me is dimitri's chris on last time he forgot how fucking dare him he did this on purpose i like how we have the editor behind the scenes sending his yeah messages. It, he's it a feels shit like a real show if you want to say shit you should just be in the episode big cuts you there yeah we're done i don't know if we went too far kyle but we might have <laughs>